Techno Mofre and uh, we introduced the A400 rotary vane air compressor. It's an air-cooled machine with a 250 kilowatt nominal power installed. It's equipped with a variable speed and we will see the machine in operation here for four bar absolute pressure. Now inside this rotary vane machine we have vanes. Here we have a vane. They are about this size for the 250 kilowatt air compressor. They are manufactured manually. Each air end has its own vanes and they do not represent consumable parts. Actually a machine based on rotary vane technology of Pnomofre can be as old like we have here an example we see a UP unit from 99, 16 year old, that has been running because we can overhaul again and again the air end. This A400.4 air compressor can run between 2.5 and 4 bar. We see here the technical tag, variable speed 250 kilowatt nominal power. The capacity is from 1600 to about 2600 cubic meters per hour. The pressure varies 2.5 to 4 bar G. The rotation speed is low, 1000 to 1600 rpm. This allows low temperatures and uh, the weight is 5400 kilo. The unit is quite big, but needs no foundation and ready to use. Here on the side, we see the control panel and uh, we can have the machine running like this easily as it needs only the electrical wiring connection. The variable speed drive and pumping. This machine is designed for heavy duty operation, accessibility is very important and we can open all the orange doors and uh, easily see here the inside. We see here two oil separators, the grids of the air cooling, the outlet of the compressed air here and uh, the 250 kilowatt uh, installed nominal power. This air compressor starts with the air filter. The filtered air is entering the air end and mixed with the oil. So here is the oil injection and the mixture of air and oil goes into the oil separators for pure 1 ppm compressed air. Important on this side we see the direct joint because this allows to avoid the transmission losses by belts and gears, we have about 3 to 7% power loss. Also to be seen in the back are two large oil coolers which allow air cooling in also in tropical countries up to 55 degrees Celsius. Many of these units are installed since decades and they run trouble free with total independence of the operators themselves. The air cooling system is uh, quite important but we need a serious well-dimensioned uh, oil cooling system. The lubricant comes into this cabin for dedicated cooling. Then we have fans on the top uh, with different speeds so that the cooling effect is constantly keeps the oil constant. On the right hand side we have the oil coolers where on the left is the compressed air cooler because we want the compressed air to be of low temperature with lots of pneumatic energy and without dissipation into heat. This brings the air compressor to be a machine with a very low life cycle cost.